everyone welcome back to my channel so today we're going to be doing a video all about your immediate future so this is going to be a really beautiful surprise for you and I feel like this is just going to be a really positive reading quite a transformational reading I feel so let's get started with your reading so we have four decks here we have group number one group two group three and group four I will also try to remind myself to recommend you guys the card decks down below as well for you guys this is the thread of fate this is the starseed oracle this is the moon child tarot and this is the astral realms crystal oracle pretty sure i got that right so let's get started with your reading and let's go so please choose your group as usual all the timestamps are down below in the description box and the comment section down below so let's get started with group number one with the thread of fate oracle Hello my lovely group number one, let's get started with your reading, let's see what's going on for you guys and let's see what your immediate future is bringing. So let's give these a little bit of a shuffle and let's see what's going on. So you guys have the card of love, is this in reverse? Upright, upright we have the card of love, hopefully you guys can see that, let me just focus it, there we go. Have the card of love, beautiful, this is a really good oracle deck, it's really really beautiful. We then have the card of compassion. So a lot of heart-based energy for you guys. A lot of energy around the heart chakra, really allowing you to trust yourself as well. Really learning to trust yourself, trust your intuition, trust your inner guidance. We have the card of power. Beautiful. Then we also have the card of a shadow. Lovely. Let's get one more. Oops. Get curious. Lovely. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay. So we're going to have a look at the card underneath the deck as well. Let's see what that is. The Outlaw. This card comes out a lot in this deck. From when I've used it, the Outlaw is a very popular one with my spirit guides anyway. Okay. So I feel like for you guys, hopefully you can see these cards. Okay. I know the sun will probably be altering the light a little bit but hopefully you can see it's okay so the main thing i'm feeling for you guys is taking back your power i feel like you guys are really realizing how to take back your power how to really learn to work with your shadows and i feel like there's a really big sense of your heart chakra opening i feel like you're really learning to step into your power really learn to choose things for yourself and not worrying about what anyone else is thinking you really learn to focus on you really learn to focus on what your path is and not what everyone else's path is i'm getting really drawn to the bat kind of image here and this eagle kind of um bird kind of thing that's you know this animal so these two animals are like taking flight and i feel like there's this sense of like letting go of a lot of shadows that aren't there are a lot of shadows that aren't you you know there are a lot of trauma that has been put on you that people have been telling you you know you're this you're that you're the other i feel like you'll learn to let go of anyone's kind of perceptions of you and anyone who's kind of been telling you you're a certain way, you know, you're no longer listening to them. It's all about you and your energy and what you're focused on. And it's really asking you to step fully into your yourself. So the first card is love. A lot of you guys could be getting a romantic partnership soon. And I feel like this love card is very much about you guys opening your heart and letting people see your heart, being vulnerable, allowing people to see you for who you are. And I also feel like your heart has been really hurt. And I feel like the best thing for you to do to recover from this hurt, I feel like is to focus on what makes you feel really comfortable. So there's a sense of this flame, like igniting your heart. Is there something that you've always wanted to do, but you haven't done it because of possible an ex that you were with that didn't agree with whatever you were doing? It could be to do with something like tarot, could be going more into spirituality or the occult. And I feel like this is also asking the universe to like, just let go and let, I'm asking, I'm, I'm hearing, I'm asking the universe to let me be myself. And I think that's what, are you already asking? I think a good affirmation for you guys is I allow myself to be me. I allow myself to spread my energy. I allow myself to expand. I allow myself to take up room, to take up space. So the fact that we have these two cards is so, so, so important because I feel like in turn with the power card, I feel like it's allowing you guys to be compassionate towards yourself when you, when you are struggling. Okay. And I feel like you guys are stepping into the unknown. You're stepping into a really empowered version of yourself that's going to allow you to be more compassionate towards yourself and a lot of the times when we have low self-esteem is we're normally someone who's really hard on ourselves we 
you know, say things about ourselves that aren't true, you know, and it's normally in a dialogue that we've learned from parents or friends or somebody who has had quite a, a intense impact on us, someone who is like a, like a um, vital relationship that we've had. And I feel like for you guys, you've had to put up this really strong front. You've had to possibly change yourself, manipulate your entire personality, pretend to be this certain person. And to, I'm picking up like locking eyes with somebody, something about locking eyes, like locking your personality onto somebody else, especially if you guys have Gemini placements, really like assessing yourself and thinking I'm not as good as them, you know, I'll never, I'll never be as good as them. And I feel like there's this sense of like, you have to start changing the way you speak to yourself and speak more kindly to yourself because there's a sense of like avoiding intimacy with yourself when you speak negatively about yourself and there's nothing wrong with speaking negatively about yourself in terms of like you know oh I just did that silly thing but at the end of the day it's better to kind of change the way that you speak to yourself because it can really impact your mental health it can really impact your confidence and this get curious is almost getting curious about your shadow get curious about the parts of you that you're not really comfortable with and get curious about what is it that you want to do in this lifetime is there anything that you know at the end of your life you think oh, I have done it all you know is there anything that you want to do in, in this lifetime that really allows you to spread your wings to feel more comfortable and a lot of it will be probably to do travel but unfortunately we can't travel right now so for you it's really important to access yourself now instead of waiting for the travel or that next partner to access this part of you try to access it as much as you can now and what you can do is to do some shadow work possibly with somebody who works with shadow work because you know you sometimes you need a mentor but also get curious about the parts of you that are really stubborn the parts of you that get stuck the parts of you that you want to ignore or avoid because when we when we just allow ourselves to get stuck in something in instead of just like pushing it down allowing yourself to just be in it that's where you can really get into what is it that I'm running away from. There's definitely an emotion that you're possibly running away from as a part of you that you just want to possibly avoid. So let's get you some tarot and let's see what tarot, let's get some just original tarot. I just wanna get you some tarot just to see what else wants to come out for you guys. Is there any other messages that want to come out for group number one, please? I feel like the fact that you guys chose number one and we have the Ace of Swords, which is amazing because it represents one or zero. Um, the Ace of Swords with love, it's all about you speaking your truth, like putting yourself first and really just like choosing yourself in, in places where you possibly couldn't or weren't allowed to, okay? And this is about you just doing things for yourself. And I'm picking up on some of you guys putting locks on your doors, possibly to get some more privacy. I'm not sure what that's about, but it's almost like I'm giving myself permission to have more privacy because I need more privacy to process my emotions. That's what I'm going to do. We're going to have compassion with the Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords is about kind of trying to possibly get revenge or taking your emotions out of a situation to avoid getting close to anyone. And I think for you guys, actually, you need to insert more love into your life by giving it more towards yourself. And this is um, really, really like giving, um, making promises to yourself and keeping them, really doing tasks for yourself and actually completing them, like getting out of bed, having a shower, going for a run, um, eating that healthy food that you might have been avoiding for the last couple of weeks. Like that is taking responsibility and that is giving yourself really good boundaries. It's establishing those boundaries with yourself first then you can establish them with other people. That's that's the trick here. Beautiful, we then have power with the magician. The magician here is all about you guys, and you, you have everything with you, you know? And sometimes it takes a while to recognize our own power because if, if people have told us that we're not good enough and we've, if we've constantly uh, manifested narcissists who have constantly been thinking about themselves and it hasn't really been a, um, kind of even relationship, then you would be thinking that you know, I'm not good enough or you would be thinking that you're lacking, but you're actually not. That's just people's insecurities and what they think of you, but they're not actually true. You know, this could be just a manipulation that people have brought onto you. So I feel like with this power, it's all about you starting something new and going for it, okay? So if there's a job that you wanna do, if there's a relationship you wanna start with someone, go for it. And I feel like there's definitely, for you guys, a sense of letting go of somebody who's very manipulative from your life, who possibly caused a shadow over your life. And when I say shadow, I mean like an emotional shadow. Um, could be a father figure I'm picking up here. It could be an ex who was an earth sign. Just a really somebody who's very, very stubborn, who basically told you that if you don't, um, if you don't create success, you're not worth anything. And that's not true. That's completely somebody else's manipulation and avoidance of their own emotions and putting it onto you, which is not fair. We then have get curious with the two of pentacles. 
it's okay to be in limbo, okay? It's okay to not know where you're going. It's okay to be in the middle. And for those of you who, hello, my other thick, my beautiful thick sign people, hello, I'm also a thick sign, I'm a Scorpio. I totally feel you with this card. This can be fudging hard. If you've got thick sign placements in your chart, whether it's a sun sign, rising sign, moon sign, Venus sign, whatever, if this is hard for you to do, to feel comfortable in the unknown, girl, I feel you, okay? I've been there so many times and got so frustrated out of the need to control. So for you guys, this is just your sign to get curious about, is there anything that I can do in this moment to make myself feel better? Is there anyone that I can kind of talk to? Is there anything that I can do to release myself from this situation? Literally find out different things about yourself. And if you wanna have do something new, you can. You are literally your own body. You can do whatever you like. You know, you are you are, you have your own body, you have your own mind, you have your own heart. You know, we have three brains. Like that's difficult. We have our actual brain, we have our heart, and we also have our gut. And if something is up in the air and something something isn't really kind of balanced, it can really get us off balance, which is where we have the two of pentacles. So when we're curious, when we are in the two of pentacles, this is a curious energy. This is, I haven't chosen which step I want to take yet. And that's okay. If you don't know what step you're taking yet, that is okay. But you are the leader of your own life. You are the main character in your story. Okay. So you can do whatever you want, basically. You just got to choose to do it. So the last card we have here is the queen of cups and she is with power and the magician. This is so beautiful. I feel like this is about you allowing yourself to be an emotional feminine and if you are more on the feminine or you're a female that especially for you guys because especially with the masculine energy has been really dominating the last like millions of years or however many years it's like we're really being asked to step into our power and the more you do that and more you make decisions based on your emotions can be really powerful because especially I feel like if you guys take time to make decisions like you don't have to take you I don't have to rush anything and if you're genuinely getting a uncomfortable um, feeling about something, step away from it because it might be your intuition trying to warn you about something. But we also have the tower, which is a lovely, beautiful energy with the king of cups. So a lot of you guys could be getting into a relationship after your tower moment because this is a queen and the king. So once you've made a decision, most likely it could actually bring you towards a partnership or somebody who is really emotionally fulfilling. It could also show that you're coming into more of a balanced masculine. So you're coming into more of your balanced masculine side, which is lovely. And you're balance, balancing out your masculine and your feminine side, which is really, really lovely. So I want to get you one more card, actually. I want to pull you a chakra card just to see if there's anything else that wants to come through. And anything else about like chakras, anything that wants to kind of come into today's reading. Journey. To enjoy the journey, let go of the outcome, sacral chakra, red of entry. Isn't that just preaching the truth? That could be so hard, as I say, for, um, for fixed signs. That can be really, really difficult. Last one, connection, heart chakra, lovely. Father divine and mother earth, make love in your heart. Green ocean, jasper, red adventure. This is that masculine and feminine energy I was talking about. Really allowing yourself to express your authentic truth and be powerful in your energy. You know, like really allow yourself to express yourself and don't be afraid to, um, don't minimize yourself out of fear of not of being judged or not fitting in. Don't shrink yourself to fit in because it's not going to work, <laughs> literally. It's just going to make you feel worse. I'm also picking up, this is so random, but like I'm picking up on like Cinderella and like making the shoe fit, but actually the shoe can fit like quite a lot of people. So it's basically showing you like, you don't have to have one certain path. And also there's this sense of like, I'm picking up for some of you, especially for those of you who are quite perfectionistic or have like very strong ideas of what who you want to be or who you have to be. It's kind of like, you don't have to fit into everyone's box. Like you don't have to be liked by everyone, which I'm talking to my Libras right now. Because if you have Libra in your chart, you'll feel this. <laughs> um, there's this sense of like, you don't have to be perfect or liked by everyone to be loved, okay? You are allowed to not be liked by people, but there will be other people who do love you and like you for who you are. And if some people doesn't like you, that's nothing to do with them. You know, I'm sorry, it's nothing to do with you. That's just their opinion. And opinions change all the freaking time. Um, like, you know, with celebrities, like one time people can really love them, the next time people hate them. So it's just an opinion, it doesn't matter. But what it matters is your opinion of yourself and know that you're going to get more grounded and much more comfortable in your life very, very soon. And also look out for the moon phases. I feel like a lot of you guys are really sensitive to the moon. So really be careful like how the moon is impacting you. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you would like a private reading, all my information is down below, my lovely people. Also, my crystal shop is down below as well in the description box. I hope you have a lovely day and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello, green number two. Let's get started with your reading. So you guys chose the Starseed Oracle. So let's have a look and see what 
uh, cards we have here. And then we're going to uh, clarify with the tarot. You're not alone. Isolation, the physical connection and community. We have fallen into my arms, surrender, holding the opposite extremes of life. We also have perspective. None of this matters. Zoom out uh, common ground. We have I'm sorry, defenselessness, writing past wrongs and uprooting. That's really powerful. I feel like a lot of you guys are vibing with the colour black or grey at the moment. I'm really focused on that black colour. Uh, we then have trust the timing, trust the wave you came in, time is not running out. Wow, these are perfect cards. Sometimes these cards don't always resonate with me, but these are really resonate with me today. So we have the card underneath, Earth, which is beautiful. Learning how to be human in the world, but not of it. So I feel like you guys need to get grounded more. I feel like you need to meditate. Um, and remember where you've where you've come from. Remember where. Remember how much effort you've been putting into your life. I feel like you guys are really like degrading yourself, thinking that you, you know, you you can't do anything. You know, I'm useless. Blah blah blah. Whatever the thing is. So, first of all, we have you're not alone. Isolation, physical connection, and community. This is all about you guys focusing on you. Okay. So a lot of you guys might be feeling really alone right now. You might not have a lot of friends. You might have family that has kind of gone away from you. People that really, you don't fit. You don't fit in their their box anymore. Okay. You don't fit in with their ideals. So I feel like for you guys, it's really asking you to step into your power and really be who you are whether people are around you or not okay sorry guys i needed to change the lighting i was on natural light and then it just suddenly disappeared so we have this energy of focusing on you and i do feel like if any of your family have kind of come away from you in your life just let them go because i feel like this just need to like fall back into your soul and i literally just realized these two are like faces there's a face here and there's a face here wow that's so cool i actually never realized that so in these cards, I'm really focusing on the people and the relationships they have to each other. So we have these two people kind of connecting with their energy, with their hands. We then have this card where there's a mother and a baby and there's souls coming in and coming out of them. There's also souls like around them, could be spirit. We then have the earth, you know, it's not really a relationship with the earth. We then have these two people and they're kind of, could be a reflection of uh, themselves, but... I feel like here we have this um, relationship between these two people and this sense of like both of them being hurt and really like listening to each other. And then we also have this person who's kind of on a lone journey, who's kind of going through this, this kind of journey here. So I feel like for you guys, you're really learning to um, express yourself and really learn to find things that really suit you, okay? So I feel like you're learning to put yourself first. And this is really, really hard because you guys need are uh, needing to surrender to basically the extremes that are happening and it's not comfortable but it's allowing you to find your community sorry my throat just went really weird um it's allowing you to find your community but you have to find your community if you want a new community they're basically saying like you need to basically be more of you because no one can find you if you're basically not being yourself and it's basically in a self-acceptance like accepting who you are and your personality and what basically what your soul is like you're learning to accept your soul as it is like if you try to change yourself then how can people find you and love you for who you are so i feel like you guys have really been able to surrender or have been really trying to learn to surrender because i feel like there's this sense of like i don't have to know exactly what's going on to feel complete and comfortable and when we have this energy of like none of this matters, zoom out common ground, I feel like for you guys, you're really over, like over, I don't know, I heard the word overreacting, but I don't like that word. Um, there's a sense of like overthinking and reacting in a way that it feels like you have to control everything and manipulate things and you know, the sense of perfectionism. And I feel like for you, it's like you don't have to do any of those things. You guys have been going through such an intense energy from, especially from 2020 on, onwards, you have been stopped in your tracks, like you haven't been able to do what you normally do, you possibly haven't, haven't, been, haven't, haven't been able to travel. I'm picking up for some of you guys, you may have lost a long, like um, a partner or ended a relationship or like a long distance relationship, you ended it because it's almost like you couldn't travel to each other, but then it, it actually ended up better because then you were able to focus more on yourself and realize that actually wasn't the best relationship for you. 
And I also feel like you guys are really worried about the timing of things. I think you're really worried that nothing's gonna happen. You know, I'm on the wrong path. This is gonna end up a mess. It isn't, basically you're being uprooted because you are no longer the person you thought you were. That was just an idea that people put on you. And I feel like you're seeing things from a different perspective. Like if you turn this upside down, you can see her more. If you turn it up this way, you can see her more. And I feel like you're gonna start finding people who you really connect with. You're gonna start finding more friends that are really your, your, your person. You're gonna start finding people who are your people. But this is going to be, you have to be alone for a while. You have to be, you have to basically feel your emotions. Because if you need to rewrite your karma and if you are coming into a new version of karma, then you're not going to be this person you always were. And you're not gonna have the same interests either. You might have a different perspective on life and that may bring people, that may take, like, take people made to come out of your life and you might not be able to, you know, function the same way you used to. Also, you might have a massive diet change as well. You might have to really, really change your diet. But I feel like here, there's a sense of like really relying on yourself and, I feel like also, this is a very deep message, but I feel like we have like loads of souls here. And as the souls kind of come into this person's body, they come out one by one, but they're coming in as a big clump and they're coming out one by one here. Some of us, you know, may not be on this earth for that long, but some of us may be here forever and ever, you know, for a really long time. Some of us, you know, we don't know how long we have. So here, this is a sense of like, if you're meant to be on this planet right now, watching this video, you are meant to be here, okay? Your soul can literally come out your body whenever it wants to, because our, our bodies are basically just, just you know, you know, a vessel. So if your soul decides, nope, none of this, you're gonna go. So if you're here for a re, if you're here now, you're here for a reason, okay? It's not to do with like, you know, I have to be successful, I have to have fame and all that stuff. It's about you recognizing what you actually need. Like what are your core needs? Is it physical touch? Is it um, reciprocal love? Is it safety? Is it all those things? And you can get those from yourself. It just might take a little while because if you're literally rewriting your soul, it's going to take a little bit of time. But also time is not running out. Trust the wave that you came in on. You know, if you, you're meant to, you're meant to be born at that certain time and our birth chart shows exactly that. You know, you're meant to be this certain person. You know, sometimes you get people who are overthinkers. Sometimes you get people who are more self, you know, self-centered on themselves. You know, you get different types of people to balance each other out when we're literally on a planet of contrast. And it's not the most easiest thing to deal with, but it is a thing that we have to kind of work through. And if you need some time away from all of that, definitely give yourself some time away. Because obviously if you are an overthinker, then you will think yourself into the ground and that's not something you want to do. So you are not alone. We have the 10 of pentacles and the six of pentacles. Yeah, you are coming into a close of your relationships. You're now going to start manifesting some really balanced relationships who really provide for you reciprocal love, okay? Really reciprocal. And um, I feel like you're um, finding your sense of identification, like you're finding your identity through being alone, for being on your own. We then have fall into my arms and the knight of sword with extremes of life. You may be dealing with someone who's quite toxic, um, or you may be dealing with like, I have to rush. I have to get away from these emotions by rushing, by, by distracting myself, but there's no longer need to do that. We then have this sense of perspective with the world. You're coming into a new cycle. So of course your perspective is gonna change and that's okay. You know, as long as you can support yourself by giving yourself a lot of love, by really showing up for yourself. And if you need to like give yourself some love, go do it. You know, if you, it's just things like doing self-love is all about you choosing yourself. So say if you have to go to bed at a certain time, but you're avoiding it, do it. If you need to, you know, eat a certain food because, you know, your body you really doesn't like, like gluten or something, but you keep eating gluten and ignoring it, listen to your body. It's like really like being responsible for yourself. That's really, really, really super important. Okay. So we also have, I'm sorry, defenses uprooting. This is about you choosing yourself and you're no longer kind of trying to go with the crowd. And if somebody is trying to push you out of a situation, just let them, because I feel like you, you're you on a higher path, I think. And then we had the chariot. Trust the timing and the chariot is gonna come in when the timing is right. Everything is gonna move really swiftly and really fast and everything's gonna work out in the right timing for you, okay? Every, nothing is a mistake, you know, nothing is by mistake. Okay, so let's get you some cards, let's see what cards want to come out for you, my lovely group number two, and see what Shaka wants to come out for. Let's see. Okay, we have the card of strength. Strength comes from your connection to the root of your being. Definitely a sense of root chakra coming up. Getting really grounded. Grounding yourself is really important. And then we have creation. 
Creation, the Flames of Destruction, Morganite Ariba, Fire, Agate, Smoky Quartz, and then we have the Dreams. Third Eye Chakra, Dreams are where your mind translates the divine. I feel like you guys are gonna get a lot of creation uh, downloads, so a lot of like answers from your uh, intuition that comes from trusting yourself. And I feel like you're cut, I feel like I'm just hearing transmission, transition, transformation, like a sense of like going from one place to another, but you're kind of in the, the transition zone. So you're not fully transformed yet. So everything's gonna feel a little bit wobbly. But then there's a sense of like letting go with your solar plexus. I'm oh, sorry, sacral chakra, carnelian. Letting go is not giving up. Sometimes it's the first step towards success. Okay, and giving yourself permission to do that whenever you feel like if there's something you need to let go of, letting it go and giving yourself permission to do that. You do not you do not have to hold on to something that's wrong for you okay you do not have to you do not have to feel obliged you don't have to feel guilty for choosing yourself be you and you can do this and also i definitely felt it could be a new business venture that comes from forgiving yourself because it's a sense of confidence that you suddenly get where you can move forward more easily so thank you so much for watching guys private reading rates are down below please contact me before you get a reading because my rates always change if you'd like a crystal from my crystal shop please have a look and see if there's anything that you like and I appreciate you, I love you, and I hope you have a lovely day. Bye. Hello, group number three. Let's get started with your reading. So one of the things I heard was it's time to change. So I feel like you guys are changing up your lifestyle, your food, who you're being around, what you're taking in, what you're intaking in your body. So it could even be like you might have a nicotine addiction, you're no longer um, smoking, you're no longer drinking alcohol. It's just a sense of like, I don't have to put up with this anymore, okay? And I feel like it's definitely to do with health and your body. And I feel like you're no longer kind of giving up your power to other people in terms of your body, especially sexually or, you know, other stuff going around the world and things. Putting yourself first and discover, um, figuring out what you want for your body and, know, and realizing that that's enough. You don't have to basically explain yourself, okay? So I'm here in making decisions as well. So group number Ready. let's see what you guys get let's see what tarot wants to come out for you guys this is the uh, moon child tarot we have the king of swords we have the two of pentacles wow that sun's really coming up now we have the divine wisdom card justice that's amazing. You guys are definitely getting a lot of wisdom. I'm hearing like you're getting downloads that you thought, whoa, okay. Like life-changing downloads. Literally life-changing downloads. Picking up on the flower of the rose. Really, really big uh, energy there. Massive amount of creation there. Birthing something. Um, stepping into your feminine energy as well. Let me just turn this lighting down a little bit. So you guys can see the cards a little better. And then we also have the Three of Cups. So we have the Three of Wands and the Three of Cups. I feel like you guys are definitely um, getting drawn to your community, getting drawn to your spirit guides more. And you'll learn to kind of not take on people's, people's shit, basically. You're not really learning. You'll learn to like let it go and to stop kind of torturing yourself out of things not being the way they, they are. Like really not torturing yourself to be a certain way. And I also feel like you've been getting a lot of wisdom through this transitional period. With this justice card, I feel like this is about you guys really kind of balancing yourself out. And because of this, I'm feeling, feeling like this section here is the quiet period. Like this section here is where you discover who you are, you start to realize what you want to rely on. So if it's like, um, your own wisdom, whether it's like a spiritual practice, whether it's like a daily routine. There's a sense of like, I'm gonna put myself first and really looking after myself. And I feel like what's happening for you is you're really kind of stepping into, okay, what, who am I actually listening to? Other people or myself, you know? And I feel like this King of Swords is a manipulative person in your life who's kind of taking control over your mind and is trying to manipulate you to a certain place. And it's getting you to really question things like, okay, is this actually like really good for me? And also it just anyone's conditioning and the, I'm hearing the treatment, the treatment that's been put onto you. And then from this decision-making, you'll get a lot of wisdom because you're literally deciding to focus on you and you're not getting distracted over other people's energies because you're quite a sensitive person in terms of your energy. You pick up on things that possibly other people wouldn't pick up on. You can pick up on really uncomfortable things as well sometimes. So remember to cleanse yourself guys and really um, cleanse your space, you know, get some crystals that are very cleansing, like selenite or clear quartz, and also um, sage yourself or cleanse yourself with some um, 
incense okay so then after the divine wisdom you start to balance yourself out things start to become more clearer and you start to listen to yourself more you start to put literally like uh, take yourself seriously okay and I feel like there's a sense of like if I take care of other people first then I get to ignore I get to ignore myself and my emotions and it makes life easier it's a sense of like intense distraction so I feel like because you're no longer doing that you're really listening to yourself you're listening to any divine wisdom that you get you're not like ignoring it you're then balancing yourself out and you're manifesting people and manifesting more opportunities for yourself. I feel like you're going to manifest a really good best friend, somebody who you can really rely on. And I think this is coming through trusting yourself, self-trust. And three of cups here is about uniting energies together. And I feel like you're going to meet people who are really on your wavelength, people who you can really rely on. And somebody who most likely could be overseas um, from a different country and somebody who possibly has quite a different accent to you. It doesn't have to be, but can be. Also, I do. I am picking up on a community being formed possibly in around six months of, the, of watching this video. We then have the Page of Wands, which is this intense fire. She's almost given this fire um, and she has this fire in her hands. It's, I'm hearing that is what you've created. You've created that fire for yourself. No one has done that for you. And I feel like the more we rely on ourselves to really kind of basically self-motivate ourselves or to have like a daily routine or something where we're, we're really giving ourselves a lot of self-love, it can be so empowering because there's no one that you have to rely on. And obviously relying on people is amazing too. Getting help from people, that's amazing because we are in a you know a big community, a big society. <clears throat> so it's really important to rely on other people as well. But I'm picking up, I made that. Like I'm picking up on you holding something and I say, I made that. And it couldn't be a baby. It could even be that you guys are pregnant or you've just had a baby. <clears throat> or, you're, or you're pregnant and you're, you know, you're expecting a baby in the next few months. But also I'm picking up on this like this is your soul here that she's holding this is like this fire and I feel like you guys haven't really given yourself enough credit for how much pain that you've gone through how much trauma you've gone through and how powerful you are and the page of wands is you stepping into something new the page of wands I normally get for people when I do readings for them is it comes up when people are debating on taking the next step. And I think these people that are going to come into your life are going to help you to realize you can do it. There's nothing that can stop you. And you're going to, they're going to help you to be more authentically you. Okay. So I'm going to pick a couple of Oracle cards for you guys. We're going to get some moon cards and we're going to see what advice wants to come up for group number three. <coughs> Sorry guys. I also feel like this one here, there's a sense of like um, connection to your heart. I'm getting like a massive, like, bit of like chestiness in my throat and um chestiness in my chest and like congestion in my throat i'm picking up on this like people taking away your like feminine power because it's like quote unquote like normal okay we then have the metal element methodical organized breathe oh i love that that's so gorgeous especially those who are um Virgos, Tauruses, or um, Capricorns, um, rising as well, or Mars. Um, there's a sense of like, you have to be methodical to kind of get yourself out of this situation, but you actually don't like having, I keep hearing like having a daily routine is so, so, so important for you guys and like consciously choosing what you put in your body and what you expose yourself to, but also like not having to explain yourself to people, not having to organize your entire life like allowing freedom there as well and it says a problem solved like you are solving this issue without even really having to do anything by literally breathing <laughs> every day you're literally solving this problem because you're going through it and you're allowing those emotions to come up and if they feel too intense just let them just let let yourself ride that wave okay then have a sign in the sky comment message omen foretold so everything you're going through is for a sense of growth a period of growth it's for you designed for you so you can realize something about yourself and as a sense of confidence and a be a personal growth and be open to receive you are going through a massive massive change be really really kind to yourself give yourself some space and also be open to receive there's a new part of you that's coming in. there's a new wave of um, emotions that are coming in and there's a new sense of self so get, be, just be really kind to yourself guys you guys are sometimes really really hard on yourself and it can be really really hard for you to come into your power so it's really really important to recognize that you're doing the best that you can and you're going for a period of growth so give, give yourself a freaking break <laughs> okay so let's get you a couple more cards i'm picking up on just putting everyone first and avoiding yourself and that's something you'll really learn to not do and not to feel guilty about it not to feel guilty about um not focusing on other people so then we have spring equinox renewal restoring balance and sowing seeds exactly you're trying to find out, okay, where do I sit in, in this world? What's my, what's my sense of self? 
I'm gonna pick all three of these actually, they're all really important. Underneath, putting things into place. This is basically Saturn return. This is basically saying, taking responsibility for things and basically putting yourself in a position where you're taking responsibility and having the confidence to do that as well because not everyone has confidence to do that. Okay, we then have speak your truth, Mercury, communication, question and analyze critical thinking. You may have mercurial energy, so like Virgo or Gemini in your chart. We then have the sea of tranquility, harmonious connection and arrival, a perfect moment in time. So those of you who are wanting more connections in your life, they will come in at the right timing, okay? When you're ready, when you're ready basically, because you might not even be ready for it. You might just want to be on your own for a while. Taming the wild, untamed, dark, feminine, young rebellion. This is about you um, basically not taking anyone's shit. <laughs> basically not letting people tell you what to do. And I feel like this is very much connected to the Britney um, situation with the free Britney. It's so intense, everything that's going on. And it's really not unusual that this is all coming out because this is meant to all come out. Like things that are toxic, literally, you know, ironically, toxic and things, because, you know, she did a song called Toxic. Um, but things that are toxic, because basically... Like when you're wild, when you're, we're all naturally wild. We're all part of nature. We all have, you know, very similar, we're all connected and we're all wild. You know, we don't, we're not meant to be boxed in. We're not meant to be controlled, but unfortunately, you know, government likes to do that. But anyway, moving on, <laughs> um, we're not going to get political here. So the um, Taming the Wild is basically about you guys being authentically like messy because we're not meant to be these perfect like, boxed in people you know we are authentically us just by being ourselves in stillness the answer will be received uh crown chakra and this is clear quartz this is all about you focusing on your uh, crown chakra and listening to yourself i love this card so cute a lot of purple in this reading a lot of you guys are being asked to sit still which sometimes when we're rushing that's the time we don't want to sit still and that's the time we actually should be sitting still solar plexus chakra citrine abundance the world is abundant when you choose to see it that way. Okay, so try to flip your um, your vision and try to focus on something that's, that kind of like zones you out because sometimes we can just literally overthink ourselves into the ground, especially if you are a Virgo because we're very practical people. Um, we always feel like we need to do something to be uh, worthy and that's not always true. Sometimes resting can also be a sense of worth as well. And it can also be more productive because you can get more work done when you've rested. Root chakra hematite foundation is what the castle of your soul is built upon. So putting yourself first and really just trusting yourself, trusting the process. Love, heart chakra, rhodonite. Love is a verb, so make it your most treasured action. And shine, solar plexus chakra, mukite. You are made up of stardust, so keep sparkling. So we have peace, abundance, love, shine, and foundation. Beautiful. So thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope it resonated for you. Thank you so much for being here. Hopefully you can see what I'm seeing in the viewfinder. Um, thank you so much for being here. If you'd like a private reading, all that information is down below along with my crystal shop. Also, I have um, my rates down below. So if you would like a private reading, please message me before you book a reading So or, or purchase a reading. So thank you so much. I hope you have a lovely day and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello, group number four. Thank you so much for being here. Let's get started with your reading. Let's see what you guys chose. And this is the Astral Realms Crystal Oracle as well. So first one we have out is Herkima Diamond, Earth Star Chakra Alignment, number 29. Beautiful, hopefully this is going to focus. It's gonna focus. There we go. Okay, so Herkima Diamond. Let's see what else we have here. We have the card of Larimar, Neptune and Perspective, which is lovely. We then have Culmination, Root Chakra, Hematite, number seven. So we have 29, 22 and seven. We then have Opal, North Node, Expansion, number 27. And let's get one more. Picking up on the post office, I have no idea why that's coming through. Maybe some of you guys are sending parcels or you might get an unexpected parcel or something along those lines. Let's see, we also have Labradorite, number 21. Boundaries, South Node. So we have the North Node and the South Node like right next to each other, which is interesting. And then we also have Uranus Malachite, I have no idea how to pronounce that word. U 
Daemonia. I don't know. Number nine. <laughs> okay, so we have Uranus, South Node, North Node, Root Chakra, Neptune, and the Earth Star Chakra. So I feel for you guys, you're really being asked to get more creative with your spiritual practice. So obviously, depending on if you're more spiritual, if you are more religious, obviously it depends on who you are. So I feel like for you guys, you're really um, being asked to step more into yourself with what sort of things light you up? What makes you feel really comfortable? So we have alignment, perspective, culmination, expansion, boundaries, and that word that I can't pronounce. <laughs> okay, so I feel like for you guys, you're being asked to tune more into your spiritual practice. So this can be uh, meditating more. This can be doing more things that like just make you feel more good, like a lot more self-love. And I feel like this is actually about you choosing yourself over everyone else. You guys are really learning to have good, strong boundaries with yourself, with others, with people, just basically just having strong boundaries. And I feel like you're really learning to have that. And we have this kind of star shape. I feel like you're really connected to the stars, really connected to the moon. And I feel like in your immediate future, we have this sense of like really focusing on on your north node so i feel like the way your direction is i think it's really changing right now i feel like in the future you're not going to be in the same place you were you know a few months ago like it's gonna be like a drastic shift and i'm picking up on like a tower moment for you guys like structures that you thought were stable are going to possibly you know crumble which you know that's kind of going on around the world as well but also i'm picking up on like your emotional state it feels like you can't rely on other people to guide you in terms of who your identity is. So especially those of you who have Gemini or Earth, Earth sign aspects, there's a sense of you that you're possibly relying on other people to, for inspiration and things like that, which is fine. But also there's a sense of like relying on them too much where you kind of lose yourself. And you're learning to really figure out, especially if you know your South Node and your North Node, I think that would be really helpful for you guys. But I feel like you're leaning more on spirituality to help you, which I feel like is very healthy because I feel like it's really getting you to trust yourself. Because spirituality is essentially just, just ourself. That's what our religion is. It's, it's a sense of self, you know. And that's just, obviously, that's just my opinion. Um, but the fact we have boundaries with the South Node and expansion with the North Node, the more boundaries you have, the more you're going to expand yourself because you're going to have a more concrete sense of self and you're going to culminate more of this rooted energy. And I feel like hematite is such a good crystal for you guys. I'm really going to recommend you hematite. Hematite is really, really good. Laramai is also really good for your throat chakra. And I feel like Herkimer Diamond, very, very good for your alignment. I feel like Herkimer Diamond is really, really lovely. It's kind of has this bougie element to it because it's, you know, like a diamond. It's a very, it's cheaper diamond. It's not actually a diamond, but or from what I'm aware of. But the Herkimer Diamond, I feel like, is about you just kind of like clicking things into gear. So right now you might kind of be in a transition period where you're not really sure where you're going. But I feel like in the next few months, say like five to eight months, you're going to start to become more aligned with your purpose. So say if you're always wanting, you want to change your job, but you're not sure what it is. This is you trying to find your purpose. I'm seeing you being the root of a tree and then growing from that. So first it becomes the trunk and then it becomes the step, the, 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 what is it? <laughs> Literally the branches. Oh my God. First it becomes the seed and then it's the root. And then it's like the, um, the branches. And then it's like, okay, I'm going to say this again. Oh my God. I literally cannot speak. It's so many words. Like when it come out of my mouth, it's like, oh, it's like word vomit. Okay. So at first it comes a root, then it's the trunk and then it's the branches and it's the leaves and it's like the fruit or whatever. So it's kind of like taking one step at a time, you know? And I feel like you can't, plant your seed and get the fruit in the same day. You know, you have to wait, like Animal Crossing. <laughs> you guys love Animal Crossing as much as I do. Please let me know, I love Animal Crossing. I mean, Animal Crossing, you can literally grow a tree in three days and I don't think that's actually a pretty accurate, but we love we love peaches and I love my cherries. What can I say? So I feel like for you guys, a sense of like, um, almost just like embracing the parts of you that you really haven't liked. So possibly like a sense of like perfectionism or the sense of like being too organized or, being too rigid or like structured, I feel that there's a sense of like, you're using that to your um, advantage. So say if you're wanting to get a new job, but you're not sure what it is, but you're also, you're trying to figure out, okay, what am I really good at? What is my soul's purpose? And I feel like a lot of you guys have been feeling very, very lost. That's why your root chakra has been very affected. And the amount of root chakra messages I've gotten today in this reading, but also in my, in my readings I've been doing the last few weeks, so much about the root shark and I definitely want to do a video on the root shark because I feel like it's so damn important for a lot of us at the moment because a lot of us are breaking up with people, losing our jobs, um, moving, needing to move house, losing money, you know, getting, you know, fired, stuff like that. So much of this uprooting is happening and the more we grow, 
like a tree the more it grows the more roots it has to go in so this is you guys trying to get more balanced and getting more comfortable with rooting and growing and expanding okay so let's get you a couple more cards i'm going to pull you some actually let's pull you some tarot i literally thought this was a tarot and it wasn't it's an oracle card okay so that's my brain today let's get you some cards so alignment we have the ten of wands so this is about you um kind of deciding not to put so much pressure on yourself um and making things more simpler for yourself. I feel like that will really help you to become much more, much more less hard, much less harder on yourself. Sorry guys, I can't really speak today. Perspective, we have a judgment. We have a culmination, we have the three of cups. So a lot of you guys, the more grounded you are, the more you're gonna um, be able to be more comfortable around other people. If you're not really sure on who you are, it can be really hard to socialize and be comfortable with other people's energies because you're still trying to find yourself it's kind of like when you, like you have an animal and it's like digging a hole and then like another animal comes and tries to fill the hole while it's digging it's like you're never going to get there it's literally just going to be this repetitive cycle so you have to do one or the other you know you have to figure out which one you are who you are in this present moment and with this um three of cups this is all about you guys culminating and creating an environment that's right for you and not really for anyone else okay this judgment is all about you guys um the saturn retrograde that's been happening and all the planet planets aligning this is about you guys um the universe basically saying this is what you have to go through okay and you don't really get any kind of let out clause essentially which is uncomfortable but there we go we then have the north node with the queen of swords putting yourself first and letting go of any kind of martyrdom that you're putting on yourself like okay well they're doing that so i can't do it and but if they can if somebody else can do it so can you okay if somebody else can do it so can you and then we have the um eight of cups with the um uranus card of malachi this is about you guys choosing to walk away from things that are no longer good for you sorry guys i have to keep adjusting the lighting <laughs> as the lighting keeps going in and out and this is about you guys um kind of filling up your own cup but also like choosing the right people to be around and kind of figuring out what's the right thing for you. Four of Pentacles, saving up money. And this is about you guys possibly um, working for quite a lot and then saving up money and then doing something you really, really love. It's that sense of like, okay, I'm gonna achieve my dreams, but I have to be practical about it, which is really good. It's kind of like, if you can get that lovely balance of spirituality and like practicality, that's kind of the, the sweet spot and I feel like with my readings I always want to give practical advice I'm a very practical person I do have Virgo rising so um, I'm Virgo Mars so I'm very very practical and for my readings I always like to transmute the energy that I get into something very practical because for me I always want to help people in, a, in terms of like really allowing them to to have, get practical advice because if I don't really concentrate on it too much sometimes the advice I get is more ethereal because I'm literally translating energy so sometimes it can be less um productive so okay we have chakra balance all things work best in conjunction with all things and i feel like this is about you clearing cleansing aligning adjusting literally just taking tweaks and like tweaks <laughs> i don't know why i said it like that <laughs> like taking tweaks like tweaking yourself um i was picking up on a card and also like a scene from like i think it's like tweety bird or uh, Looney Tunes where it's like I think it's, I saw a scene where it's like Tweety Bird's in like his cage he doesn't realize that like he, he can fly out at any time the door's always open but he always like is facing the other way so there's he's in like a cage but there's an open door but he's facing the other way so he can't see as an open door and it's basically about you stopping focusing on you and trying to align things more slowly instead of rushing it rushing the process sacral chakra fire agate the creation card the flames of destruction will ignite a rebirth. Ooh, sexy. I love that. Sexy energy. Beautiful. I'm hearing an empowered woman is a sexy woman. So those of you who are feminines, hello. Okay, it could also be my females as well. Harmony makes a song of life sweeter. And you're, also, you're definitely being urged to balance your chakras, guys. So I'm going to recommend you guys um, my chakra kits. And I like to recommend you the stuff that I have on my shop because... You know, that is, why, that is why I sell them because they've worked for me really well and aligning your chakras with these crystals will really help you because it would just allow you to feel much more safer within your body, especially if you're very sensitive and you basically like function out of your body a lot of the time, especially if you're like a water sign or something. So solar plexus, citrine, abundance. It says the world is abundant when you choose to see it that way, which is really lovely. So that's really great put yourself first guys you deserve it so thank you so much for watching guys um i also am going to pick this card for you as well 
Um, really choosing peace and allowing yourself to not get involved in everything. You don't have to um, adjust anything. You don't have to be the answer for everyone. You can just be the answer for yourself and guide people through that. Okay, very deep wisdom. I didn't even realize I had that in me. So thank you so much for watching. If you'd like a private reading, all my information is down below. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you. I love you so much. I appreciate all your support. And if you've ever purchased a reading from me or bought anything from my crystal shop, even better. Thank you so much. Of course, you don't have to, but thank you so much if you have. Um, my crystal shop is also linked down below. And if I remember, I'll try to um, rec um, write down all of the card decks I've used today. If I don't, um, then please just let me know. You can always ask me if I'm using a deck, um, ask me what one I am using. So thank you so much for being here. I hope you have a lovely day and I'll speak to you very soon. Bye.